Hello and welcome to the Office Social Trigger Tour. In this tour we are going to demonstrate creating different types of social triggers for various business conditions. In the first part of this tour we are going to demonstrate an employee creating and distributing the company's monthly sales report to coworkers using social reports for real-time reports creation and schedule based social triggers for report distribution. In this example, I am going to log in as a salesperson. I will write a message announcing the monthly sales report. And then click on the Social Report tab. Then create Social Report. And the name of this report will be Monthly Sales Report. I will select a data connection to the database containing sales data. Here I will enter a database select statement that is compatible with the selected database in the data connection to retrieve data from the company's sales database. Press continue. It returns back a snapshot of the report data and the field names. Here you select the fields to be added to the report. You can change the display name of the fields. On the right is the data preview and then click Preview Report. And here is a preview off the report. And press Create Report. Now let's click on the Social Trigger tab. The name for it will be Monthly Sales Report Trigger. For Trigger Type, I will select Create Schedule. And I will select a date by clicking on the calendar and choosing a date. January 30th, 2011 at 11 a.m. and select the Eastern Time Zone. And I want this report to be recurring so I will check the Repeat tab. And I want this report to be distributed monthly so I'll select Monthly in this drop-down tab. Check the information to make sure that everything is correct and click Done. And back on this screen, click Create. And if the employee wants to tag people to this trigger, he can click on Tag People to this post. Enter the first few letters of the coworker's or business partner's name and select it from the list. You may also enter an email address. I will tag the sales manager and sales rep. The people tagged to this message will be notified when a new monthly report is generated and they will see the report when they log into Officesta or email. Click Share. And here's the message. And when this is clicked, the report can be viewed along with the details of the trigger. Here's the social trigger box where the description of the trigger can be viewed. Note that this report is not visible to others until the condition in the trigger is reached. And if we click Zoom Report, the report will be zoomed to be more easily viewed. So close that screen, and if we go back to the employee's home page, come down here and click Trigger. Here we can see the trigger summary. When the condition in the trigger is reached, this is the email message that those tagged to the trigger will receive. The email notifies them that they have been tagged. The email contains instructions and a link to the post. When this link is clicked, the monthly sales report appears. And the user, in this case the sales manager, can leave a comment here to begin a conversation. Now back on the sales manager's home page. As you can see, the report appears in his activity stream. Now in the second part of the tour, I am going to demonstrate creating a social trigger to notify my coworkers when a new message is received from a customer or business partner, including Facebook and Twitter customers, because I will be on vacation. As the sales employee, I am going to type a new message. I will add a note to my message by clicking on the Note tab. In the note, I will provide instructions to my coworkers on what to do when they receive a trigger notification, since I will be on vacation. I will ask them to follow up with my customer or business partner request. 
Save note and continue. Now click on the social trigger tab and create social trigger. The name of this one is new message trigger. Select office to trigger in the trigger type drop down box. You will be provided with a list of office to trigger types. There are triggers for new messages, new fans, and new client feedback. I will select new message and click on create. I will tag my coworkers that will get notified when a new message is received. In this case, it's sales manager and sales rep. Then click share. And here's the message and when it is clicked, the note can be viewed along with the details of the trigger. Note that this message is not visible to others until a new message is received from clients. And up here are the people that are tagged to this trigger. Sales manager and sales rep. Now back on the employees home page. Go down here to filter the activity stream to display trigger messages only. You can see the new trigger created. Now I am going to demonstrate a trigger that will notify me and my coworkers when a new customer feedback is received. I will type in a message here summarizing my trigger. Then click on the note tab and create note. I will enter the instructions in my note. Then click save note and continue. And then create a trigger to accompany this note. This trigger is named New Customer Feedback. And trigger type is Office to Trigger. And the trigger type is Office to Trigger and Client Feedback. Then click on Create. Here on the Employee Home page, you can see the trigger and note. I will tag my coworkers that will get notified when a new customer feedback is received. In this case, it's Sales Manager and Sales Rep. Then click Share. And here's the message. And when this is clicked, the note can be viewed along with the tagged users and details of the trigger. Note that this message is not visible to others until a new feedback is received from a customer. Now back on the employee's home page. Go down here to filter the activity stream to display trigger messages only you can see the new trigger created. Now I will demonstrate a custom trigger that will alert the purchasing employee, his coworkers, and supplier partner when the product inventory goes below a certain level. A social report showing the real-time inventory level will also be attached to this message. I will log in as a purchasing agent. I will type in a message to the supplier about inventory running low and the need for new shipments. Note that the supplier does not receive this message until the conditions in the trigger I will create is reached. And now I will create a note and type in the detailed message asking for new shipments. Then save note and continue. And now I will create a social report to add to my message. The name of this report is Real Time Inventory. I will select a data connection to the database containing procurement data. Enter a database select statement that is compatible with the selected database in the data connection to receive data from the company's procurement database. Press continue. It returns back a snapshot of the report data and the field names. Here you select the fields to be added to the report. You can change the display name of the fields. On the right is the data preview. And then click Preview Report. And here is a preview of the report. And press Create Report. Now let's create a social trigger. Click on the Trigger tab and create a social trigger. The trigger name will be Low Inventory Trigger. Trigger type is Create Custom Trigger. I will select a data connection to the database containing procurement data. Enter a database select statement that is compatible with the selected database in the data connection to return a response when an item's quantity is below 10 in the company's procurement database. Click on Test to see if the command entered is valid. The test was successful. 
No record was returned because the inventory level is high. I will tag my coworkers that will get notified when a new message is received. In this case, I will tag my sales manager, another employee in the purchasing department, and the supplier's CEO. Then click Share. And here's the message, and when this is clicked, the message detail is displayed. Here are the list of tagged users that will be notified when the inventory runs below the amount specified in the trigger. Here is the note containing instructions to the supplier. Here is the real-time inventory report. Here is the social trigger detail. Note that this message is not visible to others until the inventory level is below the amount specified in this trigger. Now back on the employee's home page. Go down here to filter the activity stream to display trigger messages only. You can see the new trigger created. Now we are going to demonstrate a social trigger that allows you to notify members in your IT department when the server is down. The trigger will be invoked from your company's back-end system when a special business rule is reached and in this case the business rule is server is down. I will log in as an IT support employee. I will enter a summary of the message. And now I will create a social trigger for this message. Name is server is down trigger. Trigger type invoke your application. And here is the social trigger URL that needs to be called by your company's system to invoke the trigger, which in turn will send out notifications. I will tag my coworkers that will get notified when the server is down. In this case, I will tag my fellow IT support coworker and business manager and press share. And here's the message. And when this is clicked, the trigger detail is displayed along with tagged users. Note that this message is not visible to others until the server is down. I will copy the social trigger URL to a notepad and specify the Office to User ID and password. I need to obtain the application API key to complete the URL. The application API key is the key for my company's back-end application that will invoke this social trigger. To obtain the key, I need to register my company's back-end application with Office. To register my company's back-end application, click on the API link at the bottom of the page. It will bring up the application registration page. I will complete the form with contact and application information. Note that the application URL can be the host name of the server where the application resides, or it can be the URL of the application. Read the Office to API development agreement and check the agreement box. Click Register Application, and a message will appear that your application is successfully registered. And here is the application API key. Copy the application API key and paste it in the social trigger URL in the notepad. Now I'm going to simulate my back-end application invoking the social trigger by running the social trigger URL from a web browser. Here is the response after I run the URL. This message will be returned back to the registered application. A status ID of 0 means the social trigger was successfully invoked. The server down message will now appear in the activity stream of all coworkers tagged, including myself. I will write a comment to inform others that I am working on the issue. Here is an email alert my coworker received as a result of the trigger that was invoked. When he clicks on the link, he sees the trigger detail and also sees my comment. He can choose to collaborate with me by exchanging messages here. This concludes the Office Social Trigger Tour. To learn more about the great features of Office View our other tutorials. Thank you.